Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the basic setup, fast switching, and scene based switching with the Sprolink Neo Live R2. Let's get started. Well, I've unplugged all my cables except for the streaming USB cable and the streaming control cable. Now these would normally plug into your computer, but when you want to do streaming out as a webcam, you'd plug the streaming USB into your computer for that. And when you want to do still store uh, transfers, you know, your logos and stuff like that, or firmware updates, you're going to hook up this USB cable to your computer. Okay, the first thing I want to do is plug in some cables. So I've got my HDMI cables, so you'll plug in your, your cameras here. So I've got two cameras. I've got the pan tilt zoom camera, and then I also have a iPhone right here, and that HDMI output is being fed to the input here, and that's using the little lightning to HDMI adapter that you can buy for the iPhone. Now I've got HDMI output, and the HDMI output is going to my monitor, and that also carries my audio as well. So I can have the audio going out the HDMI output. And then I also have plugged into a speaker, my line output. So we have line output here and headphone output if you need it and two microphone inputs. Now, if we want to hook up a PTZ camera, we'd plug in the ethernet here and the ethernet is for control of PTZs. So these are two PTZ pan tilt zoom cameras that I have on my desk. We can control up to four PTZ cameras. Next thing I'm going to hook up is my power. So to do this, you just simply plug it in, and it's got a nice locking power supply, so you can lock that in. It can't be kicked out by mistake. Now, there's a nice splash screen that comes up, and then once that's done, it's, as it's loading, you'll see the uh, Neo Live come to my setting that I set last. The first thing I want to do is set my switching mode. Now, we have scene-based switching. That comes up by default because... That's really what this system's all about. But there's also fast based switching. And I like to start with fast based switching because I think people that are used to switchers in general will get that quicker. So the first thing to do is you're going to click on your menu right here. So the menu lights up and then we can go down to our painters palette right there. And in here we've got pan tilt zoom control, chroma key, transitions, output settings. So if I want to change my outputs, and, uh, and the logo. So if I want to put a bug on here, I can load up a logo and have my company bug on there. But I want to go to transition and we're going to pick the type of transitions and it gives me two modes, T-bar, which is this, or we have fast switching. So we're going to switch it by clicking down on the down button. So we've switched our switching mode to be fast based switching, which means that when I switch the inputs here, it's going to switch them just like that. I don't have to think about it. This is great if you're doing a wedding or recording a band live because you don't want to miss any of the action. Now you can see I've got an effect going on with every switch. So I can change that by hitting my effects button and then going through my different effects right here. So I'm going to just go to cut. That's cut only. And now watch how fast it switches. It's instantaneous. So that's how you change your effect. So I can hit click on effect again and say I want to do mix, which is basically a transition. It does whatever my auto setting is set. So to change your auto setting, you're going to go back into menu and you're going to go down to the painter's palette again. You're going to go to transition and then you're going to go to duration. And that's what your auto setting is. So we're going to knock this down to let's say 500 milliseconds. It'll be half the time. See, that's much quicker. I like that. Click the menu to get out and we're back to normal. So I've got my different effects here. And once again, you just hit effects, go through my different effects. So I can go between this and that, or I can go, so I'm just going to go to cut mode. That's your basic setup for fast switching. Now I'm going to switch it back to scene based switching. So in here, I'm going to go menu. And we're going to go down to the painter's palette again, go to transition and hit T-bar. So now my T-bar will work for the transitions and it's just doing a cut. So once again, go into effects, pick a mix and now it does a nice transition. If I hit auto, it'll automatically do it or I can use the T-bar. So you've got both options there. Now this is scene based switching. To show you the scene based switching, I'm going to take my preview screen 
and move it to here because we can route our outputs out any of the two outputs, either the USB or the HDMI output. So to do that, we're going to go into Menu, and we're going to go back into the Painter's Palette right there. We're going to go Output Settings. And I've got two different ones, so I can do my USB output. I can switch between Program, Auxiliary, and Preview. I'm going to leave that on Program. And then on my main output, I can switch to Auxiliary or Preview. All right, so with the scene changes, I'm going to back out of here. And we're going to click on the Scene button. So you can see I've got different scenes right here. These are all my different preset scenes. So I can say like, now I'm going to bring up scene, this scene here. So I've got two side by sides. Now it's kind of wacky because it's stretched. So I'm going to go to the next one, which is really powerful. So within the Sprolink Neo Live, and this is a deeper dive, but you can actually set up to do cropping as well. So now you've got this cropped and everything looks right. Okay. Now if I click my scene button to get out, then I can choose my source to each element. So right now B is flashing, so I can change the B to be the girl. And, uh, and then A, I'm going to change to be my close-up. So now I've got my close-up of the Neo Live R2, and I've got the girl with the green screen. I've got my A and my B, and I can switch scenes. So I can go back into my scene memories, and I can grab this scene. Or I can grab that scene. And I've got this scene here, which is my favorite. So this is where you can swap them. So I'm going to swap them. So I'm going to say A, I'm going to do... Uh, camera set. Make sure you hit the scene button off and pick camera three. And then B, we're going to take four. And there's my racing game. All right, so I've got input three, input four, and that's A and B. So you can see and can turn those on or off as you see fit. It's that simple. So basically what you have is a background layer. And you can put your company branding here, just like we have the Sprolink. And then we have two picture-in-picture -picture layers that can be freely adjusted and resized and cropped. Now, this is the cool thing, is you can actually do that all in the Sprolink Neo Live R2. You don't have to have a computer. That's why I don't have a computer on my desk. I can do it all here. So now I want to do my own custom scene. And to do that, I'm going to bring up this first scene here that kind of resets everything centered. And we'll start adjusting it as we see fit. So to do this, we're going to pick on our green screen girl. And we're going to move her around. So you can see, so you can take your picture and pictures now and move them around. So we'll do that. We'll take her and move her right down bottom. And then we're going to take the other side and move her to the, the corner here. Now she is green screen, so I'll just qu really quickly get rid of her green screen. So now I've got this scene set up. I want to save it. So to save a scene, you just go in the menu and you go down to the little floppy drive. And you say save to scene. Now you've got these six buttons here. And these are the six settings here. So I'm going to say save to scene six. And that's it. Just click out. Now I can say recall scene one, recall scene six. Now notice that the scene button, when it's on, you can switch freely between any of these scenes. So you can quickly bring these up. So that's scene based switching and basic configuration of the Sprolink Neo Live. So we've gone through, we've plugged it in, we've hooked up our inputs, our power, we booted it up, we've gone in, switched it using the menuing system to fast switching. But then when you want to do something a little more elaborate, like you're a gamer and you want to put yourself at the bottom of the screen and make some preset scenes, that's called scene-based switching. Well, that should get you started with the Sprolink Neo Live R2. If you find these videos helpful, don't worry, we're going to create more. So hit the subscribe button, and we're going to take deeper dives into a lot of the different features of this product. If you need more information about where to purchase or you have any questions, visit us at www.ats-pro.com or call 800-755-3235. Thanks for watching.